You good? Okay. All right. Hello, my name is Kevin Holland. I'd like to talk to you a little bit today about how to maintain business relevance in the ever-changing healthcare landscape. So in talking with our customers, we have found that the breakdown in the budget within a healthcare system is really into three separate buckets, right? The first bucket, is 50%, is really around people, right? It's your physicians, it's your nurses, it's your IT staff, it's your administrators, the people that make up the health system. The second, 45%, is really about buildings. It's about materials. It's about uh, the things that you need in order to, um, the physical items that you need in order to, to, to make the health system run. The last 5% around and about is IT spend, okay? Should have put that earlier. I should have drawn that up there. All right, that's fine. All right, so let's talk about industry pressures here for a couple minutes. Today, there is an increased pressure for many different things. Above all, outcomes for patients and patient satisfaction, which have a direct impact on the amount of revenue that you're going to be able to drive in the coming years. Also, things like physician satisfaction, being able to attract the best and the brightest of the, uh, the residents who are coming out of medical school. There's also a tremendous amount of pressure for mergers and acquisitions. All the while, the regular, uh, the OPEX and CAPEX budget that you have enjoyed over the last couple of years is either staying the same or potentially even dropping. So how do we get around this? How do we how do we help you maintain your service levels? How do we help you to uh, make use of your resources better now than you did in the past? Right? How do we help you to, to remain relevant? Today, you have your application owner up here. And they need to deploy an application. At this point, in today's environment, typically they have one singular option. And that is to deploy the application in their data center. By default, that's the only place that they can go, right? Without any understanding of the cost that it takes to have the application live and breathe within its life cycle. We have the ability to give you a, de a decision support system that will enable you to intelligently make a decision based on many different things, including cost, um, compliance and security policies, availability, including disaster recovery. And what am I missing? Um, while also evaluating KPIs. So now having an understanding of the actual requirements for the application, we can help you decide, do I put it in my data center? Now, Although you have this option today, we also know that this application owner has the ability to sidestep IT completely and go directly to the cloud. If they need something very quickly and they don't have time to wait for infrastructure, whether it be compute or storage or networking or whatever needs to, uh, whatever resource needs to become available here, they can quickly go out to the cloud and get the resources they need to provision that application. And then, unfortunately, it's stuck out there, right? In 
uh, in clouds like Azure or AWS, right? What we want to do is give you the ability to work with your customers, your internal customers, and route every single one of those requests into a decision support system that is attached to a control plane And based on whatever requirements you have, make an intelligent decision on where that workload needs to go. Sometimes it may make sense to go internal to your data center. Other times, based on cost or available resources, it may make sense to go to Azure or AWS. Potentially, you have a secondary data center that has a set of resources. Maybe they have higher capacity drives or better or, or, or cheaper storage, right? And you could go here. You also have the ability to go out to our cloud. Now, it's great to have the ability to Decide wh where you want to place your workloads, internal or external. What makes the most sense is if you can leverage your current skill set and current tools with your enterprise management solution, with um, your automation capabilities, so on and so forth. And the only way you can do that, frankly, is using our cloud. We give you the opportunity to take workloads from here, push them out into our cloud, pull them back in. And we give you the financial transparency to know that you are making the best choice. So the best thing to do is to continue to leverage the resources and the understanding and the knowledge that you already own and um, continue to extend that as you move into the cloud. And the only so option you have to do that is with our cloud.